What is going on guys? Welcome to your ninth FL Studio tutorial and in this video I want to talk to you guys about something called the piano roll. Now the piano roll the best way I can describe it is it's a really advanced keyboard editor. Now why do we need a really advanced keyboard editor? Well if we think about it whenever we were making these notes right here we really don't have a lot of control over them. The only thing that we really had control over is what tone they played. But if we look at this like a regular piano, you notice that there are a couple things that you can't do. First of all, if you play this pattern, rock me baby, rock me baby. We notice that first of all, we can't control how long each note is held for. So for example, if we want this note to play only one quarter note, it doesn't. It plays until this note hits right here. So that's the first thing we don't have control of how long each note is held for. Another thing that we can't do, which is huge whenever you're playing an instrument, is we can't play multiple notes at once. For example, if we wanted to play C, E, and G all in this, then we couldn't because it's kind of like right now we're only playing the piano with one finger, but of course we know that's not how instruments really work. So in order to have full control over every single note, we need to open something called the piano roll. Now in order to access this, just go ahead and right click this and press send to piano roll. Now what the piano roll is, is basically, it gives you like full control. Like I said, it's basically a very powerful keyboard editor and it allows you to visually see each note. So the first thing I want to do is I want to talk to you guys just about the interface. If I play the pattern right now, rock me baby, rock me baby. You can see visually that the only part we are concerned about right now is between the first and second measure. All of this crap over here, it doesn't really matter right now because our pattern isn't that long. So of course, you it's pretty much like a window in you know your operating system in order to scroll left and right just use this up here in order to scroll up and down use this over here but since we aren't really using this space to the right I want to show you guys how to zoom in just between one and two on this scroll bar on the you know uh, left and right horizontal axis if you hover over your mouse on the right hand side you see that it turns to a left and right arrow now if we drag that to the left this allows us to either zoom in or zoom out. So I'm going to put it right around here. Um, put it, you know, wherever you feel comfortable at. So that basically allows you to zoom in on the first measure because that's really the only measure we're concerned about. Another thing I want to do is make sure you snap to quarter beats. So you know this grid right here, how it has four, pretty much a fourth beat or your grid size. If you don't see that, for example, if you're at a sixth beat, well, we really don't want that because, well, it's going to make this tutorial kind of confusing. So in order to follow along with me, make sure that each beat has four grid spaces on it. So again, if you want to change your grid, this is how you do it, this little drop down menu up here. I'm going to be working with quarter beats for this tutorial. Oh, gross. Got a bunch of freaking phlegm in my throat. All right. So just like everything in FL Studio, whenever you want to add a note, you left click on the space and whenever you want to delete it, you right click it. So that's simple enough. That is how you add new notes Rock me, baby. and you can also delete them by right clicking them. Easy enough. Rock me, baby. All right, but you know what? We could add and delete notes with you know the keyboard editor so why is this so special well first of all it gives you control to move notes around so for example if you want to move this F on top of the C and also let's just go ahead and add an E right there now whenever we play it Rock me, baby. they're all playing at the same time now let me go ahead and expand that and that'll bring me to another one well first of all whenever you want to move them as you just saw hover over it and you can see you got the up down left right this allows you to move the note around and whenever you want to resize it go on the right and you can drag it out now of course the longer the note is visually the longer it plays so I'm gonna drag these all together and I'm gonna delete this and what's gonna happen now is this plays as a chord right now just like you have three fingers hitting the keyboard so let's play this Rock me, baby. Rock me, baby. All right.
right so that's pretty cool now we have control that we can draw move resize and delete each note pretty freaking sweet now another thing I want to mention is this whenever you add a new note this is one entire beat long or one quarter note long and if you're like alright I actually want to make I'm gonna be working with a lot of you know uh, fourth beats so how do I change that well whenever you resize a note for example again they're one beat long and let's go ahead and resize this so it's only a quarter beat long now every note I add is a quarter beat long so FL Studio basically remembers the last size of the beat you made and it makes every note after that that size so if you're gonna be working with half beats change the note to half beat and now I'm drawing half beats simple enough and that's a you know if you're like alright every time I draw a note it's a different freaking length why is it doing that well that's why so of course we learned how to, to overlap notes to make chords we also learned that we can make single beats by not overlapping them and the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is this thing down here so this down here is the velocity aka the intensity so that's another thing that we have control over in the piano roll that we didn't when we were just working with the keyboard editor just like playing a real piano you can hit your notes at different amounts of intensity intensity for example you can hit it softly or you can hit the keyboard hard to make it louder so this is what you visually are seeing down here so if we wanted to play this chord softly let me get rid of these it'll be easier to demonstrate rock me baby rock me baby all right and i'm like you know what i like this beat but this chord is too loud it's too intense what i can do is just drag this down and that's probably too much but you guys can see rock me baby rock me a baby louder rock me baby a little bit louder rock me a little bit louder rock me baby so as you can see this allows you to control the intensity right here and actually if you have notes that overlap let's go with let's go ahead and play this rock me baby rock me baby you can actually still change the intention intensity of each single note so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, say we want to step this up actually probably something like this so this is gonna be da 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 rock me baby rock me baby so again like I said this is the piano roll and it gives you a ton of control over your notes basically anything that you can do on the piano in real life you can do in this piano roll and it's very intuitive very simple you can draw move resize notes change the velocity put notes on top of each other make chords and boom how freaking sweet is that but if you're saying you know what this is cool but I play the piano on real life or maybe you have a MIDI keyboard and you, you want to use that in the program in the next video I'm gonna show you guys how to set that up and how to use it in conjunction with this to make some sweet beats so thank you guys for watching I'm gonna shut up now and I'll see you guys in the next video